Right, uh, guys, what are we going to do today? I'm going to show you a comparison, guys. We're going to use a HF plasma cutter and a pilot arc plasma cutter to cut 8 mil steel. What we'll do, guys, is we'll see if there's any difference at all between the two machines. We'll see which one cuts the best and which one cuts the fastest. And do you really have to spend the extra money to get a pilot arc or are you just better off with an HF machine like this? Same as usual, guys. If you like to listen to an old get talking about plasma cutters and welders, Remember to subscribe, come say good day in the comments, I always reply to my comments, and let's get into it, eh? So with these two plasma cutters, guys, this is my 40 amp machine here, and this one here is 50 amp, so what we'll do is we'll set this one to 40 amp, so we're exactly the same. And this machine here is a pilot arc, of course, which uses the pilot arc torch, that's what the P is here. And my HF machine, of course, is not pilot arc. So what I'll actually do guys is I'll use the same torch, I'll use the pilot arc torch on both machines and then we should get a, a fair comparison of what cuts and what doesn't. So what we'll do is we'll cut with the pilot arc one first guys, kick it in the guts, I'll set it up to 40 amps, wait until she starts. So we've got a digital display on this one guys, so we'll just go up to 40 amps, the same as this one over here. 40 amps and this gauge here is just the post time guys post time is just the amount of air that comes out of your torch once you let the trigger go it just cools down your consumables so if i set that to about two seconds we should be right now what we're cutting guys is this and this is quite heavy plate it's about seven or eight mil so it's quite thick so it's a good comparison with the two machines and we'll see which one does what right there guys let's kick it in the guts and see if she'll actually cut So guys, as you can see, that's bloody hot. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful cut, guys. Not too much slag on it at all. It's quite thick. See that, guys? That's not a bad cut at all. So what I'll do now, guys, is I'll change all my leads over from this machine to this machine, and then we'll set up the HF machine to max, which is 40 amp, and then we'll do exactly the same cut, and you guys can be the judge. So let's get rid of all these leads, guys. The leads are exactly the same, except that the HF does not have a pilot arc wire. But it'll still work. But the torch will still work. Get rid of them. So we'll swap our earth over like that. We'll swap our torch lead wires over like this. And last but not least, we'll swap our main lead over, our ear lead and our main power lead. Now this pilot arc wire here, guys, I'm just going to detach it and just leave it hanging loose. In fact, I'll hang it around here, guys, so you can see that we're not actually using pilot arc. Just like that. Right now I'll swap the ear over. And we'll swap the power over. Swap the machines around. So if we kick this one in the guts guys, lights up, it's not quite as flash as this one over here. Doesn't have any digi readout or anything and it doesn't have a post time. The post time on this is set for about four seconds, which is a factory preset. So what we'll do now is turn this up to 40 amps, which is the maximum that we can go on this machine. And once again, guys, we're cutting this heavy steel plate. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is, torch is not gonna work. 
for the simple reason that it's got a spacer on it. So what I'll do is I'll take the spacer off it. With some of these spacers, guys, they're really, really tight, so you have to use a screwdriver to try and lever them off. Some are not so bad, but some are really, really tight. And it's actually good if they're tight because they don't wobble around so much when you're trying to plasma cut, but they're just a pain in the bum to get off sometimes. There we go. Yee-hee! See how tight that was? So we'll stick them over there. As you can see, same torch, AG60P. See if it works. See if it'll cut. As you may notice guys, I put my glove on that time, I wasn't stupid enough to try and grab it because it's that friggin' hot. But what do you reckon? Hey, not a bad cut either. HF star. Oh shit, that's hot again. So guys, Pilot Arc or HF, the torches are interchangeable, especially with these cheap Chinese plasma cutters. You just take the guide off. The consumables are exactly the same for these cheap Chinese machines, whether it's a Pilot Arc or an HF star. I haven't found any consumables that are any different. So that's why I interchange all the torches between my machines, because they all work. Well, I haven't found one that doesn't work yet. And if you want to cut steel like this thick, you don't want to pay any more than like 250 bucks for your machine, well, these here is what you're after. Either, like I say, an HF or a Pilot Arc machine will do the job. But just remember, guys, if you're cutting a lot of rusty steel, what you need is a Pilot Arc machine. An HF machine is more designed for clean steel, new steel, if you're manufacturing something from new. If you're using shitty old steel and you're a cheap bugger like me, then you're better off with a pilot art machine. Anyway guys, same as usual, if you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, and drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments, and we can have a bit of a yarn. And I'll give you some more useless information next time, mate. See you later. Bye. PeachTools.com.com.com.